Hi everyone, Alina from Exomate Mastery here, and I want to say thank you very much for the suggestions recently on topics that we can talk about here in our Tuesday Tech Tip. So today, I'd like to discuss the room below stairs issue. So I was very privileged to have dinner last week with some high-level Xactimate Guru guys. Uh, shout out to Ted and Chuck. Thank you for the information for this video. And uh, they showed me how we can show the rooms below stairs and then add items in Sketch. So let me show you how to do this. We can also use the variable in the calculator field. So if you don't want to do this in Sketch, there's also a way to use the calculator field over in estimate items. So thanks guys for the help. That was very, very useful. And also thank you for the question too, because I hadn't really encountered the rooms before below stairs uh, really in my estimating experience. So this is something new to me too that I thought was really cool. So shout out to Ted and Chuck for helping me solve this problem. And let's go take a look at how to include the square footage, perimeter, all kinds of fun things of the rooms below stairs. Here we are in Sketch, as you can see, and I've already sketched a floor plan and I've got a nice little staircase here that we're dealing with. So we want to see the square footage of the room that's below the stairs right here. Could be a closet, could be a myriad of different things, the little kids' playroom. There's lots of interesting uses for rooms below stairs that I've seen, but if you have a water loss and you've got water in there, you need to go ahead and estimate for that square footage, or if you have fire and it's gone into that room, um, many reasons, of course, that we may want to place line items in that room due to the fact that it's already finished out. So you've got a finished room below the staircase, and the first thing you want to do is go over to your view over here. So we're going to drop down the list next to view, and we're going to choose room below stairs. We're going to show the rooms below the stairs. And when you do that, it becomes a little crazy. You've got these ghost image that shows up and all of your measurements go away. So you don't want to choose this view unless you're going to be adding items to this graphically. And what I mean by that is we're going to add the items here in Sketch. As you can see, I can kind of highlight this area. I'm highlighting that room below the stairs at this point. So what I can do is go search for a line item over here grab the line item, it's loaded to my cursor, and I can hover just in that area, and you can see it says quantity, wall surfaces and ceiling below staircase. Isn't that cool? It tells you what it's going to be painting. So I can left click once, and we'll see here, paint more than the walls and ceiling, and it does the math for us in the calculator field. It gives us the walls and ceilings below the stairs. See that? That's the variables there. And we can double check that by going back out to view, and turning off that rooms below stairs view, go to the stairs and highlight them, go to their properties, and you can see all variables here, and sometimes this is hidden, so if you've got the plus sign there, be sure to drop that down, and you can see all variables, but you can see the WBS right here, that's the walls below stairs, WCBS is walls and ceiling below stairs, those are the variables that you want to pay attention to. Now, if you need something like the perimeter of the below stairs, uh, Ted and Chuck informed me that we have to use PBS, not PFBS, okay? So usually PF is perimeter floor, but for some reason below the staircase, it's PBS. So you might want to write that down on a sticky somewhere if you're dealing with these below the staircase rooms. So if we go over to the estimate items, and we don't want to graphically estimate that area, we could go into the living room where the staircase is housed. So if I go back to sketch and I go to the staircase properties, you can see that it's a subgroup of the living room. So the staircase belongs or is living in the living room. So if we go to the estimate items, using those variables in the living room will work. If I use it in the dining room, the WBS the walls below stairs will not work. So we have to choose the living room. So be sure to know in Sketch how to figure that out. Again, I can show you really quickly. Choose a staircase, go to the properties, and it's a subgroup of, I could change this if I wanted to, so it is a free floating property that you can change, uh, but I like the living room setting. So back over here in estimate items, if I wanted to go ahead and paint the, uh, or switch out the baseboard below the stairs, I could then add that here, P-W-S, nope, nope, P-B-S, I think that's 
perimeter below stairs. Looks like it added about 30 or 20, 25 and change. I don't do mental math well, but you can see there that the quantity had changed. So it's PBS, not PFBS. So I don't have to add this baseboard graphically if I don't want to. I can use those variables from this below staircase by remembering BS, which below staircase guys, okay? So thanks again for asking that question. It was a really good one, something that I hadn't really worked with before. So this is really fun for me to find out how to do this. If you have a burning exactly question, be sure to put it in the comments below. I try to read and respond to each and every comment on this channel and on these videos. And I also will try to make new Tuesday Tech Tips about those questions that you have if there's something that I think that this community can benefit from. So definitely post questions below. Also, please like this video. Likes are like gold here on YouTube, so I appreciate your likes. And also, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. We release new content every week on this channel channel and I think that you'll really enjoy the updates. For more information on what we do here at Eximate Mastery, I train contractors how to use Xactimate, go to our website at xm8mastery.com and I hope you guys have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.